Another high school sports season wraps up on Saturday as the spring sports crown their state champs. For over a quarter century, Mike Colbreeze has been in charge. Now he's gearing up for retirement. In this week's Prep Zone, Chris Egan sits down with Colbreeze to look back on his time as the head of high school sports in the state of Washington. This past year, 410 high schools and 450 middle schools competed in athletics and fine arts under the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association umbrella. That's a lot of kids getting active and involved. We're right around a half million total on an annual basis. Mike Colbreeze is the executive director of the WIAA. A choir teacher came up and said, you know, Mike, what people need to understand is that kids need to have a place every day to take their heart. And to me, that's, that's activities programs. Cole Breeze, who grew up in a big family in Montana, has spent 48 years in education. For 11 years, he taught English in Montana before moving into an administrative role. Cole Breeze then spent six years in Wyoming as the commissioner of the state's activities association. Then it was off to Washington in 1993 to become the leader of the WIAA. A lot of things have happened over those years and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a, uh, it's been a challenge and, it's, and I think that's what's been so rewarding about it is, is, uh, is are the challenges that we've really faced and, and worked to with a lot of great people. Governing nine districts and over 900 schools is not an easy job, but Colbury's went to work right away. When I first came here, the east and the west divide was really strong. I think at least as the association, it's gotten better. Colbury's credits patience and communication for helping him on the job. As the most tenured executive director in the country, Colbury's helped Washington take the lead in many areas. The fact that this state was the leader on concussion management, transgender participation, a lot of different issues. We've, we've created a more um, consistent, fair, eligibility process, and the same with the way of handling rules violations. Colbury says the good outweighs the bad, but over the years there have been controversial moments. In 2007, an undefeated Archbishop Murphy football team was booted from the playoffs because a player had been playing with an expired physical. Felt terrible that a young man's physical lapsed, uh, and that caused some forfeitures. But again, the other side of that is that that there are those who followed what are the rules of the association and the process was you know important somebody asked me one time what do you what's your major role and my major role is to make sure the process is followed another major role is dealing with parents colbury says in his quarter century it's the biggest change he's seen with sports parents are more involved than they used to be i think there's come a become a desire that everybody's believes their child is the athlete that's going to go on to that next level and they all want that opportunity to be a part of it. Nearly 35 percent of the communication his administration staff now deals with is from parents. Because of the demand, Colbury's helped implement new communication strategies to bridge the divide between schools and parents. He's on the clock 24 7 and while he loves his job, it became clear that it was time to step down. I lost a brother, uh, and I'm the oldest of six. And when you, you when you lose a younger sibling, it kind of rings a little bit of a bell. Uh, my wife and I have been married almost 10 years, and I wanted to have a good, fun run uh, in our relationship uh, in a retirement system. No one knows how many days they have, and it's great to have a career that's fulfilling and. Um, giving back, but sometimes it's also about family. I think the one regret is I probably took it too seriously. You know, there are nights where the clock just is your only companion. I think he's going to relax for the first time in a very long time. I think the, the fact that I care about people, uh, the fact that I respect people, regardless of their opinion, and um, and I, I hope I've um, I hope I've been that kind of leader that people will say, you know, I didn't like the decision, but I understood where he was coming from.